Now imagine getting a call. It's hard to imagine actually that, and that your beloved daughter was missing. Uh, it's every parent's worst nightmare. And that's exactly what happened to Christine on November 25th, 2017. And although afraid and anxious, Christine held up, held out hope that Tessie was safely found. And as the minutes turned into hours and the hours turned into days, Christine's hope started to fade when the Toronto police were unable to find Tess. Christine could wait no longer, and so she traveled, and this story is well known. We've heard this already. Uh, she traveled from her home in North Bay to Toronto, which is a journey of about 200 kilometers, or 400 kilometers, to help with the search. And on November 29th, four days after Tess went missing, and only 40 meters away from where police had been previously dispatched to look for Tess, Christine made a horrific discovery. She found Tess's lifeless body at the bottom of a cold stairwell. Now, uh, the images of what Christine saw that day are burned into her memory. And no matter how hard she may try to forget what she saw, she cannot. Uh, the horrific images haunt her thoughts each and every day. Christine did what a police force over 5,000 strong could not do. She found her baby girl who had been murdered by a predator who left her in a stairwell. The sad reality is that the unimaginable harm inflicted on Christine by finding Tess's body need not and should not have happened. Had the police tasked with finding her simply did their job. For four days, Tess lay in a cold stairwell only 40 meters away from where the police were sent to search for her. And it's likely that Tess was actually last seen even less than 40 meters away from where she was found. This cannot and should not be acceptable police conduct. And so today, uh, we are announcing that a civil lawsuit has been started on behalf of Tess's family against the Toronto Police for the mental anguish and harm that they have needlessly suffered. In addition to the Toronto Police Services Board, Chief Saunders, as well as the two officers who were dispatched to search for Tess, they are officers Jones and McCullough, they have been named as defendants as well in this lawsuit. Not only does the lawsuit allege that the Toronto police were negligent in their search for Tess, but also before her death. The claim states that not only did the police fail to adequately patrol in the area of the village at Church and Wellesley, they also failed to warn the public that there was a serial killer at large. Uh, and he had been terrorizing the village, and that was Bruce MacArthur, as it turned out to be. Plain and simple, had there been more patrols, and had there been a proper warning, this could have potentially made a difference. We will never know because this... Now, I would like to pause uh, for a moment and make it clear that the lawsuit against the police relates to what could have been done before Tess's murder and in the search for Tess. It is in no way a criticism of the detectives and constables and officers who brought the killer to justice and helped secure the murder conviction. They all did an admirable job. Now, the convicted murderer, Kalen Schlater, is also named in the suit. Make no mistake about this. He is the one who made the decision to kill Tess. And he is the one above all to blame for her death. However, in addition to the police, it is claimed in the lawsuit that other defendants created opportunities for the killer to literally lurk in the shadows and prey upon Tess. 
It is alleged that the bar where Tess was at, at the, before her death, Cruz and Tangles, significantly overserved her alcohol and th therefore made Tess more vulnerable to a predator. The Liquor License Act in Ontario makes it illegal to overserve guests. It is also claimed that the property owner and construction company where Tess was killed did not have proper light and a, a, a proper amount of light, lighting required by law to keep the job site safe. Now let's be clear and I'll conclude my remarks. No amount of money, of course, can ever make up for the loss of Tess. No amount of money. Through this lawsuit, Tess's family seeks answers, accountability, and justice for Tess. It is their hope that no family has to endure the pain and loss that they have suffered and will live with for the rest of their lives. Sure, there's no amount of money. You can't put a price on this, but will it pay for therapy possibly for the rest of our lives? Maybe. Will we be able to honor tests in a way that may help save this from happening to other girls? in the future, possibly. Uh, can we show Tess, we will never be able to give her back her dignity, but can we show Tess some respect and uh, gratitude for what she gave us? And she gave us everything. She, as you know, everyone knows, I'm sure, wanted to be an, an organ donor. That was taken from her. She had me chasing a squirrel around one night trying to catch him because he was injured so that we could get him help. Like, I will never be able to tell you. So that being said, maybe this will be able to support Tess, continue to support Tess in the uh, pursuits that she had and and hope to with her uh, with her life. Mark Saunders is the chief and I don't know how the forces worked but I would imagine things have to be run by Mark before they go ahead with anything and um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, he allowed them to defame Tessa's name and character and seemed to have lack of control over his uh, police officers. And I've asked more questions and never answered one. There weren't questions that would have harmed the trial in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted some answers, so maybe I'll get them now. I personally found it a complete waste of time. I didn't get any help. I offered one officer a poster of Tess rather than while he was sitting in his car while he, uh, and he, de he refused the poster. Like he said, no, of course that's going to hurt my feelings. Uh, I wanted some help. I needed some help. I dropped down to 78 pounds looking for my daughter. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I still can't. My life is ruined. And did the officers try to help me? No, they, they did not.